Hi, this is Paul from TraderFifth.com. This is my stock swing trading analysis and lure video for Thursday, the 28th of March, near the end of the quarter. Uh, so let's start. Katos cancelled the order yesterday. Hasn't taken us in, but it went through the stop for the order. So we're forming a new way for low. Now, I'm going to cancel the order for now, see if this uh, level holds, uh, and then maybe put it back on. But for now, it's off the list. We had two stocks stop, uh, two trades stop out yesterday. Uh, MCHP and SPLK. Uh, now, current open trades, PE, total indecision there yesterday. We are, which this is just waiting for some big negative correction in the markets. Whether that's going to happen this week, next week, I have no idea because I haven't got a crystal ball, but this is on just in case. Uh, very similar with STZ as well. Uh, we did reject the highs on STZ there yesterday, so this resistance level does seem to uh, want to hold at the moment. Okay, two next TWO. We had a bearish day yesterday, although we had the higher high, higher low, we closed right at the low there. And potentially, we've got a short break out there. Now, we're long on this. Uh, we've got increased volume there for potential short, but to take this would be a little bit counterintuitive because we've got a big support level here, which seems to be holding at the moment. Uh, but we're in this trade. Let's see how, if this uh, support level holds. DEC had a reasonably good day yesterday. We got a new sig signal on this. So we got increased volume to the upside, hence the green candle and not grey, which gave us the black box breakout signal at 146.32 with a stop loss 141.48. So if you're not in this already, this is a more aggressive strategy because the stop and the entry is a lot closer together. Uh, but looks pretty good. So there could be an alternative there. Our, our original entry is 146.20. 146.32 is the um, entry for a breakout here. So that's DEC EA. Suffered a little bit yesterday. Came down, but with lower volume there. Remember, waiting for quite a while for this to break out. We had the big breakout day. And then since then, we've had really mixed markets. We've not really been moving in any direction. And this was just sympathetic to the first half of the session yesterday, which was bearish. We did have a 50% retracement during the day yesterday on the S&P, um, but it wasn't enough to move this back up again. But that move down was with low volume. XEC the short didn't really respond yesterday at all a little bit like PE we just had this big indecision doji there yesterday so nothing new to report there FLR very very similar indecision doji low volume doesn't really want to go anywhere at the moment triggered yesterday was Ollie remember we had the previous day we had earnings and that was we had a slight lift there but we got the indecision doji yesterday we triggered Big green candle, massive volume, uh, bullish engulfing. We're looking for that momentum to continue into today's session. TSEM triggered, uh, but didn't do as well as Oli. Uh, but we had a Tito trigger and we came back down on low volume. We're looking for this uh, cloud to hold again and for it to push back up. Uh, orders now PRGO. The potential short didn't really go anywhere yesterday. Uh, we consolidated in the cloud again, seems to be holding. Order's still good at 43.91. TSLX got a bullish day yesterday, increased volume and rejected the lows on high volume, but we really do need to push out of this range. Order's still good as all the rules are still being met. So 2023 is still a good entry for that. AMKR came close to testing the stop for the order yesterday, but didn't take it out. The 535 still good. Just let me just increase the size of that a little bit. So we're still in parameters there. Uh, it really does need a bullish day today, or they'll be cancelling that. But so far, the order is still good at 901. CW very close to that stop we are just about ready to cancel this if we don't get any more bullish momentum today we will cancel the order on cw rtn 
Had a bearish day yesterday, increased volume, all still good though. 535, stochastic, everything good, still within this range. The cloud seems to be holding at the moment, so all we need is some bullish momentum in the markets, and this should go in at 183.20. ENTG is next, very similar sort of price action to RT, RTN there. Again, 535 and oscillator is good, so all is still good at 36.47. HST. Very soon, we did reject the lows on high volume yesterday. 535 and stochastic still good, so entry still good at 1941. UMP we had a bullish day yesterday, uh, increased volume. We got the crowning starting to happen on the 535, which is brilliant. We just need to push up through this resistance level. 166.20, still a good entry there on UMP. WETF. Bearish day yesterday on low volume, but nothing broken. 535 is good, stochastic good. Order still good at 744. FBHS, I have to isolate this trade here. Isolate at these lows, 441. Bear with me while I do this. Okay, there we go. So wave four pullback, oscillators crown between 1940. We've had two bullish days coming there with increased volume each day, but we've not had solid candles. So we've had rejection of lows, rejection of highs, all in our cloud here. So sensible entries at 47.08, above the pivot point here, way above the six or moving average high, stop loss 44.74, and the target's about $51 there. So new order for today, on FBHS looks pretty good. LMT went out on the Twitter yesterday. I'm just going to put this back to zero. To zero. Okay, so LMT uh, put out on the Twitter as a signal yesterday. Didn't trigger. Didn't break the stop for the order. So the entry is 300 dollars and 55 cents which is outside the six four moving average high for yesterday's and today's bar position stop loss 292.11 and the target here 318 so great looking risk reward if this defense sector stock can really get a move on away from these wave four lows so stochastic and oscillator very very good there next is nstg move this from the soft watch list to our order list now Stochastic's good, oscillator's good, wave four pullback into the green zone there. Now, if I don't be a little bit conservative, we had the gap down on this big gray candle here, rejected those lows and moved higher. So I've got to, had to put the stop loss below there rather than the below the wave four. So 21.91 is the stop loss. The entry is 26.45, which is outside the bar um, today's bar position. Uh, for today uh, so we're good on the 6-4 moving average high there risk reward to the target $34 is 1 to 1.6 so good risk reward sensible entry and stop strategy there uh, it still gives us a, a reasonably good looking trade next is a breakout on win to the downside we've had um, the wave 5 hit target and since then we've moved down below this previous wave 4 pivot level which is crucial which could indicate a trend reversal leading into the next earnings season so we've had a nice lift up fifth wave to hit the target now we've moved back down below this previous wave for, wave for low and this previous wave for high on a previous bearish trend so we're going up and down in win um, breaking this zone now is important we are bias bearish on our multiple time frame dot cloud we can see now on the weekly time frame we are below the cloud so looking pretty good uh, for a short we had the black box breakout signal yesterday so we've got the entry at 113.60 to the short side 119.60 is the stop loss let me just draw that in there just adjust that there 119.60 is the stop loss Now, target-wise, we've got to consider this little pivot here as some support, and that's at the one-to-one. -one. 
But ultimately, if this is a trend reversal coming back to test those previous lows down here, it's a big support level here. Look, if I just extend that over there as well, we've got big support level at this sort of $90 price. So ultimately, that could be our target, but we have to be aware of this support at 10760 there. So we have a couple of targets in mind. If it runs out of juice to the downside here, around about $107, we get out, take profit. If it pushes through, we've got a good chance of, of getting a big trade. A little bit recently, just like the um, CNC trade, which really went for it, alpha leather to the downside there. So nice potential looking breakout there on win. Uh, and that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.